hello friends today in this tutorial i will basically show you how we can convert the mp4 video into mp3 and we will be using php for that php script in the browser and we will be using the library ffmpg which is an open source library for working with the video files and audio files we will try to basically build this online converter which converts your video files mp4 to mp3 you can basically take any file avi flc any extension of video file we will convert this into mp3 file so this is a video coming up this is a live stream and uh, we will code it together step by step explaining you each instruction in detail so let's go to the demo of this application so guys this is a basically the demo of the application we have video to audio converter right here and on your screen you can see that we have this interface out there we have the choose file button where you will select your mp4 file and then we have basically a convert to mp3 player button so now if i select my video file guys so this is the video file i am selecting guys if i open this uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that the problem will be fixed you just need to un so you can see that the video is playing and uh, we now need to extract all the audio from this video so this is the mp3 we need to extract the audio so what i will do i will select this video and you can see one dot mp4 uh, video file has been selected now basically i will click this button as i click this button guys the ffmpg command will run in the background and automatically you will see my mp3 file has been downloaded and now you, i can uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, and, and here you need to be facing this problem so very simple guys we have extracted uh, the sound which was there in the video so this is a really simple php script guys you can uh, execute in the browser you just need a vps hosting for that if you want to deploy this application and uh, you need this software called as ffmpg org so this is basically the software that we are using guys to make this application so ffmpg if you don't know ffmpg it's a open source project way back started it was round about in the 90s so it is used by many fa famous companies such as youtube for their video processing and facebook as well so we will use this library this is where we can download this library simply click the download button and this is a simple command guys if you want to convert a mp4 to avi so you can convert video from one format to another or audio to one format to another we will use a command in php execute it in the command line so once your ffmpg is installed guys you just need to write ffmpg i have already installed it so the command is very simple ffmpg dash i and here we need to give the input file so video dot mp4 and then the output file let's suppose output dot mp3 that's all so this is the actual command guys which runs in the browser so where basically it takes this video file and it converts it into output.mp3 it extracts the audio so this is the command that we will use it and how we can basically run the php script for that you need this exam control panel this is a special kind of software which runs your php script in the browser so just install this apache control panel and start your apache server and after that guys we will basically write our php script so let's start building this php script so first of all guys just make this index.php file right here in on the root directory and now we will write our php script guys so for that we will first of all have a simple form and this form basically will contain a title which is mp4 to mp3 converter close the title so you have seen uh, many websites guys in the internet which allows you to convert the mp4 to mp3 so this is exactly i am teaching you in the video how to do this in the browser itself if you need the full script guys the link is given in the description of the video you can check out the full source code and then we have uh, the form here and here guys what i will do guys i will write my html code in a separate file so what i will do index.html and i will call this as process.php 
So just create this process.php and I am doing it because for the formatting because you can write a basic HTML file right here and right here we will basically have a form which will make a post request to method will be post and encoding type multi-part form data so these three parameters are required so this will redirect the PHP script to this convert.php we are making the post request like this so after this guys we will have a label and this label will contain we will simply say to the user that you need to select a video file mp4 that's all after that we will have input type file and name is equal to video name parameter and we will only accept mp4 files this is required you can even accept avi files flc totally up to you but in this video we will only take mp4 button type is submit and here we will simply say that convert to mp3 that's all so if you now ex refresh your browser guys you will have this interface convert to mp3 if you click it we need to select this video file so here you will see not found we haven't uh, basically created convert.php so just create this convert sorry this needs to be process.php so just create process.php so up till now guys we have created our form and inside the form we created a simple form now we need to write the php code so now we will write the process.php script guys so here we will have the php tag and right inside this we will have a if condition so we will simply check in the server so this basically tells request method so we are checking that if it's a post request or a get get request so we can use this if condition for that so it simply uh, see in this php script whether it's a post request or it's a get request so we have put this post here that's why this will evaluate to true in this we will again compare if the files are passed or not we can do this using the files array and uh, we need to give the name attribute here we have given this name attribute right here so this name attribute needs to be the same so after this guys we have this uh, temporary location which is there temp name this simply means we are simply checking if the video is there or not so just sorry i think i put so here we will again say dollar files video error so if it is equal to zero triple equal to is a condition so this these two conditions are if, if these two condition if evaluate to true in this case just remove this i think uh, sorry this needs to close right here yeah so in this if condition guys first of all this means that if the video file is present or not yes if we have selected a valid file or not the second condition is that if the video doesn't contain any sort of validation error if both these conditions are met in that case we will get a true condition so in that we will basically get the temporary path of the file so this temporary path guys it is stored inside the files array we can access the temporary location of the file using temp underscore name so this will be the temporary location we can echo out this uh, in the browser itself if you see guys if we select our file and uh, convert this you will see that this is the temporary location guys in every php script whenever we try to upload a file first of all the file is uploaded at a temporary location so in this case the temporary location is this temporary location we don't need to upload the file we can access the file using the temporary location like this so this is the advantage and now using this temporary location guys what we can do we can simply say that uh, let me just turn off the text of volume so we can simply say output file path so where this file will be stored so it will be stored in the uh, root directory i will give the name as output.mp3 so this will be stored in the root directory itself and uh, after that guys we will now be executing the ffmpg command so this execute method guys it is available in php 
by default which allows you to execute any uh, command in the command line using PHP so for that you need to have FFmpg installed we will write here FFmpg dash i and then we will provide uh, so this needs to be double quote sorry FFmpg dash i and then video video temp path and then dash cv h264 let me explain you guys what does it is doing so this basically it's a encoding that we are doing right here this is making the faster as you see guys ffmpg takes a lot of time in processing videos but if you have a decent amount of gpu gpu stands for graphical processing unit it's a subset of uh, cpu as well uh, if you play games you have a gpu so in my case i have a gpu which is running if i open task manager you can even go to task manager and just see your uh, if you have a dedicated GPU, you can use it. So basically I have this NVIDIA GeForce GTX. So in order to use this dedicated GPU inside our FFmpg command, we just need to give this dash CV this option. So this will use the dedicated GPU. So this will make the processing little bit faster. After that we will say VN and we will apply the codec which is this is not necessary but uh, we are applying the codec which is mp3 codec after that we are giving the file name output file path output file path to greater than and add one that's all and uh, then it takes the output guys where the it ne you need to save it and then it takes the return code that's all so that's all guys it takes and now we can basically compare if the return code is equal to zero in that case there is no kind of error take place so in that case in the else if any sort of error take place then we can echo out a message that your command is not perfect conversion failed so if the command is successful guys then we will download the file as an attachment download the file so let me first of all look if the command is successful if it is generating the output.mp3 file or not. If I basically go to my application and just choose the video file, click convert to mp3. So now guys it will take some time and now if you check your output.mp3 file is generated and it is stored inside your root directory. So this is you can simply play this file. So if I play this file, you will see uh, hello friends with the fixed properties and search for a search. So now we need to simply download this file in the browser using PHP. So we need to simply set some headers for this. So we can set the header content type application slash octet stream. So this is basically the header that we need to set guys in order to download the files in the browser using PHP. The second header we need to set is the content disposition and this will be as attachment because we need to download it as an attachment. So file name will be equal to slash we need to concatenate the file name which is we we'll use the base name function and we will pass the file name which is output file path and then we can concatenate once again this slash that's all this needs to be double quote sorry put a semicolon that's all so after that guys uh, we need to read the file there is a read file method in php so we need to read the file from the path which is output file path and then we need to delete this file so we have a unlink method inside php guys which will automatically delete the file after the file has been downloaded that's all so now we need to exit out from the program so we have the exit command that's all this is the overall php script guys so if i refresh the browser select my video file 
and click convert to mp3 so it is saying conversion failed so you can see uh, i think some kind of a problem is there i think this problem is coming because of this code so the link is given guys in the description i can just write this code once again again conversion failed uh, this code is correct i think we need to uh, this uh, this file needs to be deleted first of all that's a problem yeah so choose file and convert to mp3 so it is saying process.php is not found oh sorry we deleted that file so this needs to be deleted so now guys it basically is converting here and our automatically you will see your file is downloaded output.mp3 so you can now play this file uh, hello friends today in this tutorial so one basically flaw which is there inside the script guys you can basically make this uh, path dynamic in nature let's suppose uh, you have some kind of uh, we can search here how we can uh, use uh, date dot now in php so basically have uh, uh, dynamic names coming so what we can say here if you want to get the current date uh, random string in php so generating a random string so for this what we can say we can basically yeah so so this is uh, you can basically do like this guys so you can generate a random string right here and then we can concatenate this random string in the file name so right here you can do string dot and then the actual file name is let's suppose output dot mp3 so we can concatenate these two variables like this so now every time uh, if you see it is saying let me just concatenate like this or we can do like this also file name i missed the semicolon so what it will do guys it will automatically regenerate the file name as dynamic so every time the file name will be dynamic so now if you basically go to the application click convert to mp3 so file is downloaded you will see the file name is dynamic in nature so now this there will be no problem you can select this file click convert to mp3 so i am using gpu guys so that's why my conversion is a little bit faster here you can see that so this is basically the php script guys how we can dynamically convert mp4 to mp3 video file hopefully you will like this video if you like this video then please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well all the source code is given in the description of the video and i will be seeing you in the next live stream